These are the fish I'm introducing into my baby turtle tank, and I also have a new plant that I just sort of put there because I don't have very much gravel in there. I'll get more later, but this should do it for now. Just because plants, when it grows, it'll be a good resting point for it. And now I had to maneuver it in a way. So this won't really be much of a basking place anymore. I mean, I guess some light, once the bags are gone, a fish could, you know, hit it. And it could be sort of like a cooler area, but... And I've got the heater from the other tank because the heater in here wasn't working and baby turtles need warmer temperatures anyways. But also, I've decided I wanted to breed the bigger turtles. So, yeah. Anyways, just put these fish in there. Some of them are just these 14 cent goldfish that I think would look good. And then these ones in here, it'll be hard to tell the difference, but these red ones, I forget what they're called, um, but they're related to guppies and like mollies and those sort of fish and can interbreed with them. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, so I've got one male and three females because at PetSmart it was like buy one, not buy one, buy three, get one free. So that way I get a good ratio and I'm going to be breeding these to put into the big tank later on. So then I'll have like a good supply, I guess you could say, without always having to go out and buy feeder fish. I've never used feeder fish with my turtles before. One time some kid gave me some mollies, but I don't even know if the turtles ate them. That was years ago. They just sort of swam around in there and I think some of them got eaten or sucked away or something, I don't know. But this is like the first time. So I'm gonna let them sit for a couple more minutes. They've been in like five, but once you get fish, you have to leave the bag floating so they adjust to the temperature so it's not like a shock. So in a couple minutes, I'm going to play it Again, I'm just going to pause the video here, and then I will be introducing the fish in. So, let's get to that. So now I've undone the rubber band on the goldfish bag. So I'm just going to sort of let it go out in the tank. Because these ones, they don't need as much time to adjust. So I'm just going to sort of let the fish find their way out. And hopefully none get caught. I'm being real careful to make sure none get stuck in the bag. Uh, there's a couple little guys in here still, but I'm trying to get them out. And, alright, done the fear fish. Now it's time. I'm not going to undo the rubber band on camera because I need more hands for that. Okay, so undid the rubber band. And this it takes a while to do. So now the... I forget what they're called, Red Comets maybe? Because it said that on the receipt, but I they had a different name in there than Red Comets. I know that's the kind of fish, but... Alright, there they go, they're in the tank. I hope, yeah, it looks like they can handle the filter. Big filter. Alright. Just gonna set this down. There they are in there, just sort of swimming around, doing their thing. Yeah, I can definitely tell those ones apart from the goldfish. Like, I was wondering if I'd be able to, but I can. And I bet they're going to be breeding soon, probably. Hopefully. I don't know. So, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm just going to feed them a little bit, because I'm sure they've already been fed in the store, because they feed them daily or whatever, but I'm just going to add a little bit, just in case. Okay. There is the food. Just going to take tiny bit, like this much, just, that wasn't enough, uh, this much, yeah, just sort of, you know, put it in there at the top of the water, in case any of the fish want to get some, though they're probably just exploring the tank right now. Do yeah, it doesn't seem like any of them are having a problem with the current of the filter, which is good. I was a little worried about that. Because I got a stronger filter, and sometimes the little turtle has... I wouldn't say problems, but he likes going against it, because map turtles love the currents. So yeah, I'm not going to put him in right now. I'm going 
Like if you want to click on another video of mine and go to my channel, do it. Feel free to. That's why I'm going to put him in because he. The main reason I went to PetSmart, even though I didn't end up getting the thing for that there, was he was starting to get a bit of an eye infection. I know that because one of my bigger turtles has had that before, and I had no idea what to do. It's really lucky my turtle survived it. I don't even know how because I didn't know what was wrong with it. I was like 11 or something. And I thought that for the longest time we all thought that turtle was going to die. But yeah, it was. it's my female, the red-eared slider, but she recovered just... She would bask all day long and I think she had a respiratory infection too now that I know more stuff and not really inexperienced, if you could say. So I know what's wrong now, but... So it's a minor eye infection though, he's not gonna die or anything, but I noticed he was starting to squint a little and then the next day he, his eye was closed more, so I'm going to make a tutorial in a second on how to treat eye infections. So if you want to see that and see him interact to the feeder fish for the first time, well, not feeder because he can't eat them, but you know what I mean, then yeah, subscribe and click on that video, though it'll probably be uploaded first, so I'll put a link to it down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.